Hi guys, it is March the 1st and I am going to document the garden. <laughs> There's nothing to document. We're going to document it anyway. So stay tuned. First up, this was the basil bed last year. I finally cleaned it out. Uh, I may need to add a little bit more soil to it because it's settled right here. But otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Got some flowers here with a cat. Maybe I'm growing cats. I don't know. And there and there. I need to clean those pots out. Um, this was mint, chives, cilantro, uh, rosemary, oregano, dill, sage, thyme, and parsley. Um, oregano is supposed to be, in a, be a, uh, perennial, but I don't see any, any new growth on it yet. I do see the chives coming, so that's cool. Now, the one bad thing I did last year is from here to here, it was oregano, <laughs> and so it might have been too root bound to be a perennial. Um, but anyway, I need, I've done a little bit of cleanup on this particular um, raised bed, but not a lot, so. I had some other flowers um, back there that still need to clean the flower pots. This was all tomatoes last year, if you remember in one of my videos. Uh, I got it cleaned up. That's part of a hibiscus right there. The rose bush. Um, I need to come in and weed between my deals, and I probably need to add just a little bit more pea gravel. Uh, I got my window boxes cleaned out. Those were foxglove. That is a uh, shucks. It is. An Arctic fire. That's what it was. Woo! This was lavender and then a bunch of stuff that needs to be cleaned out. That was all foxglove and a bunch of just flowers. I, as you can see, I have not cleaned out my flower bed or pots yet. More foxglove. It has been so windy here. I mean, worse than I really think it ever is. Um, I accidentally broke my rain gauge again, so that's exciting. I need to get rid of some dead mums. <laughs> the flowers are not looking so hot. I did trim back this rose, and my monstrosity of a camper is no longer right there, so maybe I can do something to the east side of the house this year. We'll see. <clears throat> We've had conversations in the last couple of years about reciting our house. So I've had to be kind of mindful about what I plant because if I plant anything that is a perennial, it will probably have to be dug up, moved away, recited the house, and then repotted or replanted. So I haven't planted, I've, my flower beds aren't what I want them to be, but they're still, they're still pretty in the summer. But last year, I was at Sam's, of all places, and I found um, tulips, 50 of them in a bag. So I bought 50 of them in a bag and planted them. And now not all of those 50, as you can tell, are coming up. And some of that is the weather is playing, wreaking havoc on it. And then I have this one that the bulb is actually sitting on the surface. I don't think that's a good thing. And when you squat down, you have lightning and bubblegum come to visit you. Lightning's a little friendlier. Bubblegum stands off a little bit. She's not totally skittish, but she doesn't, you can't pick her up or anything. You can pet her. Anyway, back to these. So I made it, if I remember right, like 50 made it to about here. There's where the cat is. <laughs> And I needed more to finish this out. And then I also found uh, irises, bearded, bearded irises, or 
I don't think that's what they're called, is it? Anyway, when I planted them, I did not see anything coming up out of them. I Last year, right here, sure here, I planted some dahlias, and they never did anything. And then I feel like I came back, and I planted uh, irises. But again, not doing anything. So, um, I've been pulling up, see I have this felt in here because it was trying to help kill weeds and I'm kind of torn on how I feel about it and I've pulled a lot of it up you can still see bits and pieces and I need to come in and remulch probably add some amendments to the soil just have to decide what I want to do there's my drip line it'll have to be pulled up my mom makes fun of me because that's been sitting there since last March when I decided to pull it up um so the other day I got this brilliant idea that I needed a potting shed. And this was actually a storage shed that we had down at my parents' house. They live just down the road. And so we loaded it up on a trailer and moved it here. And here she sits. So I've got a potting shed. Uh, nothing's in it yet. <clears throat> the doors were a lot easier to open the other day it settled a little bit but it's fairly good size I cleaned the floor we're gonna put um, shelves in here for all my gross stuff and then it'll also be a place to store and house all of that stuff bags of potting soil watering can some uh, bug stuff I found some uh, or the, more of these jar lights, a pair of scissors. That's what's made its way in here, that and whatever was left in here from moving it the other day. This has been an interesting winter. So I did get a water hydrant put here right beside the garden, so that's exciting. And then there's also a water hydrant right there beside that garden. So. I don't have to have water hoses strung all over my yard this year, hopefully. So when I'm mowing, I don't have to sit there and constantly pick up water hoses and lay them back down and that kind of thing. Um, this bed actually looks pretty good. So earlier this year, a great big wind came through, flipped it over and dumped it on that bed. And it was laying upside down on that bed. Um, so that tells you how compacted the soil is because none of it came out. <laughs> I still have a dead leak I need to do something with there. Um, I have to clean out acorns and acorns and acorns. We have so many acorns, it's unreal. I don't know, okay. So this bed here was like planted to last year to leeks and onions and carrots and stuff like that. That was my citronella. The wind has been crazy, and every time I stand all this stuff up, it blows it all back down and throws it around, so I've just kind of left it, because it seems to stand, like with the chairs upside down. I even put a watering can under it, so the watering can didn't blow away. <laughs> okay, this bed here was all jalapeno peppers, except for one shishito pepper. Um, I cleaned it out the other day. I should have cleaned it out last fall. It didn't happen. I did not blow out any of my drip line. So I may have to relay all drip line this year. We don't know. Um, this bed, that side was to artichokes. This side, I don't remember what I planted on this side. Tomatoes maybe? I don't remember. This was sweet potatoes. That was arugula. That was uh, habanero peppers. That was all marigolds. This bed, oh wait, this had some peppers. I had three types of peppers. I had Zulu peppers, I had orange bell peppers, and I had poblano peppers. And they spanned between this bed and that bed. It was like half, half, and half. 
this bed was all tomatoes. This bed, this was tomatillos right here. Um, then there was some uh, Swiss chard right here. And then that side was more tomatoes. And then there were some rainbow bell peppers sprinkled in because I had to go somewhere with them. That bed right there was all potatoes last year. This is a brand new bed I got for my birthday last year, so it had nothing in it, and it's just kind of collected some soil and a bunch of grass seed, obviously. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Um, <laughs> this bed here was... Okay, this bed and that bed. One, these two. One bed was garlic, and the other bed was potatoes. And I honestly think this was potatoes and that that was garlic, but I can't quite remember. I'd have to go back and look. And then this bed, this was where I always wanted to sing Welcome to the Jungle because I had watermelon, I had cantaloupe, I had um, nine butternut squash, I think it was. I had 12 spaghetti squash and then there was one or two other things but it like took over all of that and expanded out into the yard and I couldn't even mow that part of the yard most of the summer it was cool I was okay with it this this was asparagus here I believe and that one is rhubarb or vice versa but I'm pretty sure that this was the asparagus here and obviously I didn't do anything with that. Shame on me. That bed there, <laughs> hi. <laughs> that bed there was, it never really grew anything. Uh, in the spring, it housed lettuce along that side. And it had some shallots in there, but they didn't do anything. Um, it also housed something else that didn't do anything. So I don't know, I gotta work on that bed. And then over here, by this pole that I still don't know what the pole is, to be honest with you. It was here when we moved in. Um, I had pumpkins. I had two or three pumpkins. I can't remember. They were like small decorative type pumpkins. And you can see there's a water spigot there. There's a water spigot here. And I also had gladiolus planted just in front of... Um, so yeah. Finally, this garden. And this garden is more traditional. It's in ground, but it's also, I don't know. Right now, so there used to be a house here. Um, it was my grandma and grandpa lived in it, and then they used it as a rental house. And then when my parents bought the place from my grandparents, we lived in it while they were building their house. And then we used it as a rental house, and then it it finally got torn down um, October of 2020 so this is actually the front yard of the rental house um, one garden two garden okay so last year or two years ago on a whim I had that other garden planted and it was actually a traditional garden it was not raised beds and I decided it wasn't big enough and I needed another garden. So I tilled up the yard of this without really, you know, this is still mom and dad's land, <laughs> but they didn't care. I don't think I never asked really. I just did first and asked for forgiveness later. Um, hey, there's our cat that just showed up. She's hilarious. Maybe we'll catch some funny on the camera. You never know. Anyway, back to this garden. So I decided last year that I was going to, again, make this more of a traditional garden. Um, so I planted eight or 10 rows of varieties of corn that were all back there. Then there was a row of ginormous sunflowers, a row of medium-sized sunflowers, and a row of teddy bear sunflowers. The teddy bear sunflowers did not do well at all. Um, the mid-range sunflowers did okay. The tall ones were awesome. Uh, then we had, it was like two rows, 
or three rows of um, Blue Lake 7 or 273 or whatever, 274 green beans. They are my favorite. Although I found some that I wanted to try, but every time I try to go buy seeds, they don't have any. They are sold out. So that could be a good sign. That could be a bad sign. Then I had, this was this front row right here where all this tall grass is, was a row of pumpkins big pumpkins they were supposed to be and then we had a row of gourds and then we had some mismatch and this garden didn't do quite as well as I was hoping but but being as though that this was going back to the whole this was a house thing we have a lot of uh, uh, donkles as my dad calls them or uh, Oh, shucks. I can't remember what I was calling them the other day. Anyway, flowers planted. So they're all coming up because I've actually dug through them, but they're bulb. And I guess that the bulb has still stayed planted for the most part. So they've all started coming up into the garden, which is cool. I need to come through and till this. I've been trying to find all my drip line from last year and pull it out so that I don't, you know, get tangled up with it with the tiller. And I still have... So this one here, this black, long black one was the feeder line. <coughs> and then it had all the runoffs. But it only fed half the garden. And then the other half of the garden, so this side that way, was fed by another one. And I still have to dig it up. And I've got most of the little runner lines. But not here through these. And I've got to cut all this down and... Ugh. I should have done this last fall, but I didn't for some reason. There is no excuse. We've been working on our barn, converting it to a house for my mother-in-law. It is so muddy. We have had so much snow. Anyway, I'm tired of mud. <laughs> I have this building now that it's resided and everything to think about landscaping just because. I actually came in a few years ago. I didn't plant really anything here. This was all stuff that the previous owners had done. And I did add the window box. The cats love to sleep in the window box over here. Please don't mind the construction. I mean, we are in the middle of the house. Um, there's some of my flowers from last year. They grew into uh, Christmas lights that were there from June when we had my uh, oldest daughter's graduation party. It's been hectic working on a barn and converting it into a house. Um, I think all this needs to be pulled up and really we've kind of killed most of the grass from walking in and traipsing around because yeah um I had stuff planted in here that it comes back and I actually had drip line to all of it last year but with my mother-in-law using this door right here we're gonna have to rethink some things probably dig up some stuff and whatever so that she's not having to walk through flowers and you know moist moist I hate that word by the way moist soil so anyway that is the garden as it looks so over here, I always forget over here, because I planted, oh gosh, like 30 blueberry bushes and 15 blackberry bushes or something. Not one survived over here. This is a whole cleanup area. We're actually going to buy a shed to put the lawnmower and my tiller and that kind of thing in, and it'll probably be back over here. So. I'll get some help cleaning this up so I don't have to do it totally by myself. But nothing wants to seem to thrive back here. So, anyway. One last thing, kind of don't mind the mess. It is that time of year. Here is all of my seed planting 
thoughts. These are the vegetables. Those are the flowers, more flower seeds over there. <laughs> and then I finally, I mentioned in another video that Lizzie, my Lysianthus were supposed to be planted back in January. I got them planted way late, but we're gonna try it. I also got um, some snapdragons, some violas, another set of snapdragons, and some yarrow going. Um, so the potting shed really is going to house all of this, but it's not set up yet. I don't have enough shelves, obviously, as you saw, there are no shelves. Um, so I'm not, I'm not totally ready to move everything out there yet, but hopefully next year, this won't take over my house. <laughs> In fact, um, I was mixing my potting soil to start all these flowers and stuff in my mother-in-law's kitchen. Now, I should tell you, in the kitchen, all there is is um, sheetrock done. We still have to do floors and texture and paint and, you know, put cabinets in and all that. But <laughs> anyway, that is where I've been mixing my soil right now. So that's exciting. Um, any other news that I want to put in this? I don't know. Maybe I'll think of it, but not right now. So stay tuned. So anyway, that is the garden as it looks March the 1st of 2022. It needs a lot of help, but you know, I got time, right? 